Alright guys, today we're going to do some outside stuff. Because our carpets are getting dirty. I could use the wand. Okay, what's this thing? I'm not going to. I don't like it. I like mine. It works better for what, how I use it. Easy to swap it out and use different components. Now, it's just your standard pressure washer gun. As far as the wand itself, this is actually part of a kit. And this kit extends what, 23, 25 feet, something like that. But now I can do the edges of the gutters when I want. So it's got its own set of tips and everything. Quick release, pop that on in here. And what we have here is this is a uh, turbo tip from Amazon. It actually works pretty good for this. Well, it actually works good for a lot of things, but there we go. And then we have our Walmart foamer, foam gun, with some Dawn dish soap in there. Obviously, it's getting cold in my trailer, you can tell, but it should still be all right. There's nothing else. Take it inside, let it warm up. But we've got our foam gun, and that's so I can. Again, yeah, that's why this gun works really good for me. I can just pop it off, pop that, pop that one on. Pop it right back off, switch back over to the wand. 14, 14, 14. So what we're doing, washing some pit carpets, carpet covers. And you see they're black, they're nasty. This one used to be white, it's nasty. It actually looks like it was recently washed. But since they're stacking everything on top of everything, we don't know what's done and what's not. So. We're just going to wash both of these real quick. I always start with the back so that we can get anything that's starting to come through here pushed through. And then we'll switch, trip, flip these around. These are just uh, rug hangers that like they use the car wash. So I just threw these up real quick. Or mat hangers. There you go. I actually I ordered these from a uh, website that had them a while back. I can't remember even now. Took a while to get here, but or took took a while to get to Highline, but they work. So what we're going to start with is actually just an initial soak. We just want to get everything wet real quick. This is actually the the soap soaking tip, but since I don't have any soap connected, you just get it wet. You see a lot of the water is just running off. And that's the oil. The oil will, the oil will soak all the way through. So now that we got everything wet, that'll give the, the soap something to work on. So now we'll pop our soap tip on. Homer. Obviously, this foams up a lot better once the soap gets going. Just soak it up nice and good. Get plenty of soap on there. Yeah, it's 
part to go. Get it nice and soaked up. Let the soap soak in for just a minute. Just have a clean area. Yeah, While well, this soaks up, well, I'm letting that soak for a minute. I'm going to take this inside. Just let the last of that soap warm back up. Uh, like I said, this is just regular Dawn dish soap. Good old true blue. Good for the environment. That's why I like to use it all over out here. Ain't going to hurt nothing, but it'll make everything so much cleaner. So I'm going to be spending a lot of time right in here to do these, so I want to make sure that I'm not going to track a bunch of stuff inside with me. So now that it's been soaking for a bit, we're just going to take it. Slow and steady. I say slow and steady because I'm keeping a steady pace. Now, the pace you can go is going to highly depend on your pressure washer. This one's, I think it's rated 1200 PSI, but that rating is with a needle tip, like a zero. You'll get 1200 PSI out of there when it's just a jet stream. Anything other than that, though, you're getting way less. So, you'll see how clean it is and isn't getting. Mind you, while I'm out here getting soaked, it is 536, 39 degrees, a little dark.
So, there's site number one. Now, doing the bottom is dual purpose. One, you're not getting anything loose that's going to be on the top. Because if it's already starting to soak through or anything like that, if it starts to settle into the carpet, this will kind of push it back out the front. The second thing it's going to do, anything that was already on, like when you put laying these on pick carpets, if you put it on a dirty carpet that's already down, then this is just going to pick up that dirt. And then if you don't clean it off the back, you're going to transfer it onto the next lane. So you're just taking a dirty carpet and putting dirt on top of a carpet that could be clean. So, start with the back side. Go through, flip them around. Now you can see what I mean by it. it looked like it got clean recently. You can see the lines. Same with this one. Flip it around. That's actually not terrible either. going here. There we go, we got them all nice and soapy. Yeah, you can see what I'm talking about when the dark starts streaking in there. That's the grease that's so gotta break down. So I usually give it a few minutes to soak. Like I said, these were recently done, so we're just going to spray these back off. Once we get to a dirtier set, it'll make a lot more sense. I'm currently doing this while the oiler's running, so I'm listening for the oiler, listening for it to finish. While I... So what they'll do now is they'll hang and dry, and I'll probably swap these two over to these these ones over here, just to let them drip out. You don't need these inside. They don't have to be inside to dry. You don't have to do vacuum them out or anything like that. I mean, if you want to rush it, yeah, you need to grab a shop vac, lay them on a smooth, clean surface and vacuum all the water out of it but for what we're doing and if you have extras 
the, yeah, you just hang them up to dry. Just like that. Round two, Oilers taken care of, picked up. That, yep, this carpet came off seven. I know that's because it was sitting behind seven. Somebody decided it was dirty. Can't imagine what gave them that idea. This one was down at the low end somewhere. Um, I'll explain all this in a second. It's dirty too, so we're going to get these clean. Now, this right here, all nice and gummy as it is. Oh, that's just beautiful. What that is, is the, uh, the sticky back from some Velcro. Now we use, when you get the spot in the carpet, and you can see it right here, when you get the spot in the carpet where the balls keep getting stuck, I like to put a piece of Velcro, uh, it's sticky back Velcro, and I just stick it down on there. What I don't do is take the backing off. Well, somebody took the backing off of one, <laughs> and now we have this great gummy mess. Yeah, we're going to see how much of that comes off with the pressure washer. We're just having a day for sirens, aren't we? Sounds like he's behind us. We're going to see how much of that comes off with the pressure washer, but if it doesn't, oh well. We'll figure that out later. For now, we're just going to clean up both sides. These are the zip-back carpets. These are the carpets, and they'll change depending on when you order it, because... They're using what carpets they got. Go away, officer. Thank you. So these are zip backs. Now, once you're done pressure washing your zip back carpets, go across, trim all this loose stuff off. You don't want that getting caught in your pulleys. I also go across and if these frays are real bad, I'll cut them off too. They'll go eventually. I mean, these are, this is one of my older ones. So about three years old, maybe four, and every once in a while, or for the first couple times when you first get them, you got a lot of trimming to do. After that, it's just a little bit. Uh, this is, these are both also some of my older ones. These are four or five years old. I brought them out of the garbage and brought them back to life with some good cleaning because just because the carpet sat dirty for a while or sat wet, doesn't mean it's automatically garbage as one of my old co-workers used to think oh well, it, it was wet therefore it's moldy and it's garbage uh, no I took a carpet that was outside I took a carpet that was outside for a few years sitting on a pit board I sprayed it down real good but lo and behold it looked like anything we're put installing in the machines now so, debunking that, yeah, until these things go to shreds, or if you got bad carpets on the pit boards, and they wear down too far to where they start wearing these down, they're still reusable. The other thing you can see here is this shape. This is Zot, uh, not Zot. Kegel. Kegel has a PVC PVC carpet saver. And that is that right there. Somebody put this carpet over top of a carpet saver on top of the pit carpet. Yeah. Guess where all the balls are sitting? All around the edge of the carpet saver. Literally did no good. That only made the calls worse. So Highly recommended you don't use those underneath the carpet. It might work under one of the cloth carpet covers, the original stuff. Um, I've had the slippery carpet covers. I've had the PVC pit covers. I've tried them all. These ones, my favorite by far, but they have to be maintained. If you do not clean them, as we're doing right now, if you do not clean them, they're going to do the same thing carpets are doing. They're going to wear down, and they're going to get dirty, and they're going to slow everything down. So we're going to soak this up.
now, as we're just starting the cleaning process, I'm going to point this out. You can see how this is not laying flat. That is not laying flat. The outside edge of that, but for the most part, these two are laying flat. That's because these two were bundled up on the floor. They just grabbed it, pulled it out, threw it in a ball, tossed it off to the side. If you do not fold your carpets properly, you got the nice tri-fold. If you don't fold them properly, they're not going to rest well. And then you have to wait for them to flatten back out in order to put them in because you don't want creases or lumps or anything else when you put them in the pin setter because these don't work well. So, while that's soaking for a minute, I'll show you how different batches get for one. Because we got those two there. That one was a set of white, really soft ones. This is another one from my batch. You can see they buckle right up. Both on the sides, both on the front. This one's not even at all. And then you got the ones, the second, the last batch that we got for these blue ones. Again, you can see it's dirty, it's all glossy and matted. So this has to come out, well, probably has to come out half foot in. But it's the same thing. It's different carpet. And somebody comment on the Hell Day video. Hey, you look at the zip backs. Well, I've been doing zip backs for years, man. Problem is, of the four people working back here, there's one person cleaning them. There's 32 lanes. And along with everything else I gotta do, yeah, it's, it's kinda hard to keep up. Especially when they don't tell me, hey, we need some carpets, they're dirty. No, they just ball it up, throw in the corner. I eventually find him and go, what the hell? So, this is what happens when I find him. I'm like, okay, well, I guess I need to clean some carpets. And there's four more new ones inside in a box that haven't been put where these ones got taken. Okay, so, yeah, there's that. So let's get this one off. Again, I'm doing this during league at night. Calls don't stop for this. Nobody's gonna wait for me. So, all those people that don't have time to do things, don't have time to clean. Right. So, like I said, I've been I've been out working on this, so I get at least two of these empty tonight from outside. I mean, it's a whole lot cleaner out here. All while I'm doing various cleaning chores, while I'm doing repairs on machines. Uh, hopefully I can get the video from two done today. This one will probably be up before that will, but... Same story. Different carpet. Knocking all the stuff off on the back side. Punching anything through. Now, I didn't get all this gummy nasty off here, but I got a lot of it off, actually. The majority of it's gone. 
that's actually carpet. Still some, some there, but and yes, I'm smoking. I do not. I'm not gonna say everybody's got smoke, but when I'm outside, I try to get my smoke breaks in. That way, I'm not gonna stop and just stand there and twiddle my thumbs while I'm smoking a cigarette. Now, if I'm outside, multitask. Take your break, get something done. You can all be done at the same time. All right, what else you gonna do? You gonna charge your phone? No, fuck, screw that. Multitask it. So, clearly, these ones are much darker than those ones. So we should get a nice show over here. Okay, my soap skit and warmer warming up a bit so it's flowing a bit easier. If you've got the time and you got the pressure washer, it doesn't hurt to do front and back twice. Or one of the ways I was doing it for a while, I do the front side. Do the front side one initial go, flip it over, then do the back side, and then flip it back over to the front again. Fortunately, I'm stopped. I have to listen for calls while I'm doing this. There's a lot going on, so I don't really have all the time in the world. And tonight it's pretty cold. It's it's not warm out here. It's more of a summer thing. If you want to get your deep cleaning done, summertime is a great time for that. Or if you live in warmer states, if you live down south. Yeah, I'm up here in Washington. We barely do warm in the summer. Well, not counting the last few years where global heating and yada, yada, yada. You can see here already how nasty this is. Let's get some light on here. There's your separation of suds. And some of this is just pick it up, stuff off the ground and moving it over. But yeah. Dark, nasty suds. Don dish soap. The other thing this will help do as the waters come across is clean make the ground nice and clean. Or at Highline. In the back, the back wall here was uh, dirt and grass, and it would come across gravel, well, on the opposite side, but it would come across gravel where it was draining, and then go to the storm drain and drop down from there. Well, the storm drain kept getting flooded up with soot and everything else. Uh, once I switched over to Dawn, never had a problem with the storm drain. It was always nice and clean. Before you stop recording, I only got an hour on a battery charge, so what I'm gonna point out, you can see how it's nasty and it's nice and fluffy. Nasty fluffy and you can see what else coming off of there I didn't bring it over here. I'm stupid. That is a film of nastiness sitting on top there. Of just that carpet. At least I got this one. 
Not yet. 30 degrees. There you have it. You can see it's total transformation here. This, this carpet looks softer. It feels softer. This one looks cleaner. <laughs> Just straight up. But now, now that's all that you get to go across. Trim this all off. I'd trim this this back too. A pair of scissors. If you got some heavy duty scissors, that's going to work best for you. But yeah, just trim everything down. Get rid of any loose strings. And once they're done drying, they're good to go. One more goes across here. Got all that nasty grime all in one spot. Ain't that pretty? All that stuff that is no longer being spread around the pins, spread around on people's balls, and everything else. That is what will slow your, your system down. When these get dirty, it's just like when the carpets get dirty. The pins don't slide as well. The balls don't move across there as well. Everything gets backed up. You get everything clean. Everything goes nice and smooth. 